Thank you for joining us again on another Pray TV program. Charlotte is here. Just greet our folk here. Thank you. It's good to be here today. And we just want to thank God as we always do. We just want to give him praise for the faithfulness that he shows to each one of us. Even through difficult, stressful times, God is always faithful. And we know we've learned how to depend upon the Lord, upon his faithfulness, upon the goodness of, of God's grace in our lives. I, I, I know we wouldn't even be existing if it weren't for the presence and the power and the grace of God, literally. And that's a little bit what we're going to be focusing on here today as we look at our particular portion of scripture that we've chosen from Psalm uh, chapter 90, and we're looking at verses 10 and 12. And so let's just take a look at this and I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation today. It says, 70 years are given to us. Some even live to 80. But the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Soon they disappear and we fly away. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Charlotte, I know you've got some things on your heart that you want to be able to bring our attention to as we prepare our, our souls and our hearts to be able to go into prayer. Yeah, it seems like just yesterday we were teenagers, Brent. I honestly don't know where life is gone. That is right. It goes so quick, and the older you get, it speeds up, believe me. Mm -hmm. So these verses are important to pay heed to them, to teach us to number our days, to know that life is brief, that we might really be wise. And this morning I was in a prayer forum for Milamar, uh, which was the former Burma, the country of Burma. And many of you recall that the first American missionary to Burma was Adonayan Judson. He actually sailed from the port of Salem to go to Burma, Salem, Massachusetts. And I was reading a little bit about him, and it was just struck me because it fits so aptly into these verses. Um, he was born in Malden, Massachusetts, the son of a congregational minister who believed that Yale and Harvard were too liberal, so Adonai and Judson went to Brown University in Rhode Island at the age of 16. And while he was there, he was deeply influenced by an upperclassman who was an atheist. And so he literally became an atheist in college and departed from any semblance of faith whatsoever. And just to make a long story short, after he graduated from college, he was living kind of this bohemian lifestyle, uh, going from place to place on horseback. And one night, he took a uh, lodging in a inn. And he was about 20, 21 years old. And during the night, he heard this tremendous crying of distress and spiritual agony and he realized that the man in the next room to him was dying and in the morning he found out that it was this very class man, classmate that he had had at Brown who was dying with such agony during the night as an atheist without hope, without God and it turned Adonai and Judson's life around so much that at 21 years old he accepted the Lord, went to Andover Newton Seminary, and then went as a missionary to what was then Burma. So it's this numbering of our days. It's really understanding that God has a plan. God has a design. And if we pay attention and we yearn for His design, we will experience His fruit, His lasting fruit in our lives. Well, we want to do that. We want to have that lasting fruit in our lives, and we want to be able to be prepared to live out our days, and to the best of our ability, Charlotte and I are doing that. We are attempting every day to prioritize Christ, make decisions really around Him and His kingdom, and, and, and to be in touch with you and to be praying with you and, and knowing that this is just a part of our, our little calling to be an encouragement. 
But I'm going to read this portion of scripture one more time, and it's again from Psalm 90, and this is verses uh, 10 and then 12, and this is from the New Living Translation of the Bible. Seventy years are given to us. Some even live to 80. But even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. So they disappear, and soon they disappear, and we fly away. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Charlotte, I am going to ask you to begin our time of prayer, and then I will follow up. Thank you, dear. Lord, we just want to take these verses to heart today. Teach us, Lord, that life is fragile and it is short. And we know that old poem, only one life, it will soon be passed. And only what's done for Christ will truly last. So Father, may we just apply our heart to learn your wisdom, to really seek your face, Lord. And we pray, Lord, even as I shared this story of Adonai and Judson, we pray for the people, God, of Milamar today who are going through such persecution. Lord, Christians there are fleeing for their lives. They are starving without food. We ask, O oh God, that you just come to them in miraculous ways, Lord. We know that your ears are open to their cries, Lord, and we join our hearts with them today, God. We just thank you for your, for your people around the world, Lord, who are standing courageously, Lord. And Father, we thank you, God, that they have counted the cost and their lives, Lord, have been given to you. And so we know that theirs is an eternal reward as well, God. And we just thank you, God, that you are the eternal source of our hope, of our life, and of all that has to do with our futures. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And Father, we are thankful for every year. And your word tells us that 70 years are given to us. Some even live to 80. But even the best years are filled with pain and trouble and soon disappear, then we fly away. Father, we know what it is to have years that have been struggled in, years that have been filled with pain and some sorrow, and, and yet, Lord, your faithfulness, your faithfulness has kept us. Your merciful calling on us. Our awareness of who you are and our desire to be one with you. Father, I thank you that the pain and the trouble of life will soon disappear. And as your word says, and then we will fly away. And Lord, we're not looking to be escapists because we want to remain fully engaged with what you give us to have stewardship over and responsibility towards and the relationships that we want to be able to nurture and encourage and be strengthened by and add some measure of our own input of value. But Lord, I just thank you, particularly for the young who are reading these words or seeing these things and hearing these, these thoughts about, about life and, and, and Charlotte and my testimony that it, it is quick. It goes by very, very fast. We couldn't even imagine how quickly. And it does seem as though we were just young people ourselves very, very few years ago. And it's now passing. But we know that you are working your will and your purposes in your people. And our hearts are knit with you to see accomplished everything that you desire so that when we come and stand before you, we can stand before you with clean hands, a pure heart. We can stand before you 
when we can lay down those things that we might think are our treasures, things that somehow have value to us and have have not been just burned up like wood hay and stubble. But Father, we we just we want to be able to give you our lives, and we want for you to be able to give us that that warm welcome and that smile. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And so, Lord, we ask for this wisdom to come upon the hearts of everyone. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. So, Lord, we ask again, continue your, your eternal work of teaching us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Be strengthened and be encouraged. The Lord will work in your life no matter what season 